<laughs> what a shape was this who came to us with basilisk eyes so ominous, with mouth so sweet, so poisonous, and tortured hands so pale. We saw her wavering to and fro. Through dark and wind we saw her go. Yet what her name was, and felt our spirits fail. <gasps> Disk, 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 my dear. How will you guard these priceless works of art without your flashlight? Good hell. It's so hard to find these days. I know it's after hours, but there are so many gorgeous works at this gallery to be appreciated in the dead of night. <laughs> Poor turn of phrase, you've nothing to worry from me. <laughs> so confrontational. If you didn't enjoy the foreplay, I could just cut to the chase. Hmm? I look familiar, adorable. Perhaps you recognize me from somewhere here. Why don't I shed some light on, on this situation? situation? Hmm. My red gaze can ensnare even the most vigilant of souls. Enjoy the light. It's, it's much, much better, better now, isn't it? You just need to let your guard down for me. That's much better. It's good to take a moment to put, put yourself at ease, to let go. I'm here because I'm looking for something, my dear, and you're going to help me find it. All I need is a little yes, Miss Fame, a little me, and you'll be all to happy to help me. Celine. Brother! And here I thought you were a workaholic. I'm glad to see that the art liar has not given you wrinkles. Put down the help, sister. Such a killjoy. <laughs> no, just protective of my things. And unlike the toys at the manor, the guard is paid to be here. My apologies. I knew my sister, Selim, was going to show up at some point this week, so I chose someone malleable to be the bait. Hmm. Now why would you want to bait me, dear brother? I'm as harmless as a puffer fish. Those are poisonous. Hmm. Looks are deceiving, I suppose. Indeed. I'm sorry, how rude of me. Guard, this is Celine Vame, my sister. Miss Vame, if you please. It's a little honorific I prefer to be addressed by. Hmm. It's dark here. Let's convene in this soft gallery. Hmm. Soft gallery? It's the room with all the plush carpet and the <laughs> plush mannequins. Now I'm just curious. Do you like it? I keep this room cordoned off because of its special nature. Paintings depicting ferocious creatures made toothless and harmless. A bound dragon, a faceless snake, and of course... There are the mannequins, plush statues lost in a state of serenity, smoothed over like river stones till they are devoid of anything but the vaguest of features. I added the fountain for a little feng shui. 
Oh, how cute. Little brother trying to hide that he misses the rains at home. You'll have to forgive Celine. She is the less cultured of the two of us. Did you not hear my approach earlier? Of course I did. Conrad Aiken, dear sister. If you wanted to bash in his head with the fact that we're vampire bats, you might as well have thrown a blah in there. And what would you have gone with? Oh, cultured swine of a sibling. Hmm. Allow me. Have a seat. Yes, please, sit. What are you doing? Getting the guard comfortable. They're working. And we're not? Don't tell me you're not feeling that gentle itch, prickling on the precipice of your pupils, that you'd prefer to pacify, plague it, and perplex the mind in perpetuity. Hmm? Mm. Just indulge, like all the times, brother. Guard, relax. Let the gentle lapping of the water fountain caress your thoughts. You're in a safe place. Let go for me, please. Mm, such a well-behaved guard. Listen to your boss, dear. Watch as his gaze shifts, melting away the division between reality and nirvana. You are going to educate us, Philistines, brother? Yes. <clears throat> Breathe deep the gathering gloom. Watch lights fade from every room. Bedsitter people look back and lament. Another day's useless energy spent. Impassioned lovers wrestle as one. Lonely man cries for love and has none. New mother picks up and suckles her son. Senior citizen wishes they were young. Cold hearted orb that rules the night removes the colors from our sight. Red is gray and yellow white. But we decide which is right and which is an illusion. A classic, but the colors that drain from your sight, dear guard, are anything but red and blue. We can't help ourselves. Once we start, the taste of your slackening expression is like chum in the water. It makes us wish to circle and enact our will upon those that drool in the moonlight. In my gallery, I do more than collect paintings and abstract representations. I collect the living representations of art and beauty. Hmm. You're wasting your time on this one. I don't think they enjoy the art. It's just a paycheck for them. Hmm. If the effort is lost on them, what do you propose we do? I'd like to make a donation, brother. I've picked up a little trick since we last saw each other. With my eyes and but a scratch of my fangs, I can encourage my own glorious visage to imprint on those that appreciate. Interesting. So you're proposing to alleviate the poor guard of their previous identity and replace it with your own? I call them themlings. Mm, it would be strange to have my sister as a living mannequin in this art gallery. Mm, oh, well, they're not completely me. Just an aspect of me. Fur like ours, eyes like ours... Yet all their personality retains, too, is a little phrase. My favorite phrase, so much I love to hear it over and over and over again. Yes, Miss Vame. Yes, Miss Vame. Yes, Miss Vame. You don't mind, do you, dear employee? Consider it a raise. 
instead of being paid to protect the art, you are to exist as art. Here, let me get you in a proper pose. Rest on the plinth, my dear. Stare ahead. Perfectly still. Not a muscle out of place. Let the fur take you. Let our eyes placate you. Chilled breeze through the darkness flow. Broken by our luminous glow. A shiver, a prickle down the spine. Instinct, Instinct concerned of what's come to dine. dine. Enraptured struggles, conflicted by threat. Alas, like the moon. Soon wane and regret. Spirit we savor, extract and exhaust. The question lingers, what's truly been lost? Glistening fangs and glowing eyes. Drain and empty as we baptize. Pacified, we drop the guise. That, that they, they could, could ever stop their demise. demise. And descend into our throne. A newly minted famling, lost in a pose of reverence and submission, frozen in that moment on the precipice of permanence. Exquisite. Hmm. It was nice to work with you again, brother. I'll admit, creating a thrall never gets old. And such a beautiful blue figure to add to your collection. <laughs> Oh, methinks the damsel's ego doth declare too pridefully. <laughs> do you think their friends will look? If they do, I'm sure we could use a new wing of interpretive pieces. Hmm. Call it Shades of Curiosity. Hmm. And I thought I was supposed to be the pretentious one. <laughs> Sleep well, little family. You have many adoring art lovers to appease.